Hi, first grade. I hope you're having a good day. You probably have noticed we have some more fish here. I am fish sitting for Mrs. Blackwell. So we have our class fish and her class fish. Today I'm reading Jack and the Beanstalk and it's illustrated by Gavin Scott. One day Jack's mom said, we have no money and nothing to eat. Take our cow to the market and sell it so that we can buy some food. Jack took the cow to the market, but instead of selling the cow, he swapped it for some magic beans. Jack ran all the way home with his bag of beans. But when Jack's mom saw the beans, she was cross. Silly boy, shouted Jack's mom. Now we have no cow, no money, and nothing to eat. She threw the beans into the garden and sent Jack to bed. Jack went off to bed. He was sad about the beans. The next morning, Jack looked out of his window. There was a giant beanstalk in the garden. Jack was hungry. He climbed the beanstalk to look for some beans to eat. He climbed up and up into the clouds. Jack went all the way to the top of the giant beanstalk. At the top of the beanstalk, Jack found a giant castle. He knocked on the castle door. The cook opened the door. Please, may I have something to eat? said Jack. The cook gave him some food. Then they heard footsteps. You must hide, she cried. The giant who lives here likes to eat little boys for his supper. Boom, boom, boom. Jack hid in the cupboard. The bad, greedy giant stomped into the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy, the giant shouted. Don't be silly, said the cook. You smell sausages cooking. Jack was scared. Would the giant eat him? The greedy giant ate his sausages. Bring me my gold, roared the giant. The cook got his gold and the greedy giant counted it. Soon the giant fell asleep. Jack popped out of the cupboard and grabbed a bag of gold. Jack quickly climbed down the beanstalk with the bag of gold. Jack's mom bought some food, but soon all the gold was gone and they were hungry again. Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. He hid in the castle. Soon the greedy giant came into the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy, he shouted. Don't be silly, said the cook. You smell your dinner. The giant ate his food. I think you just heard my dog run by. Bring me my hen, roared the greedy giant. The cook fetched a fat red hen. The hen laid a big golden egg. As soon as the giant fell asleep, Jack popped out and grabbed the hen. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the fat red hen. Next day, Jack climbed a beanstalk again. He hid in the castle and waited for the giant to come. Bring me my harp, roared the giant. The cook got a golden harp. The harp sang to the giant. He fell asleep. Jack popped out and grabbed it, but the giant woke up. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he cried. Stop, come back, boy.
Jack climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could go. The giant chased after him. Jack got to the bottom and grabbed an axe. He chopped down the beanstalk. Crash! The giant fell to the ground. And that was the end of the bad, greedy giant. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll see you next time. Oh, the dog came in. Bella, come. Bella, come. I'm gonna see my, oh, here comes Chester. Come here. So this is, whoops, Chester and Bella. Say hi. Those are the crazy dogs. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.